government employees will soon see a 7% rise in pay. GPSU described the increase as meager. GTT giving you 30 million reasons to celebrate this Christmas. Then a couple died in a fatal car accident on the east bank of the Marara. In the region, supporters of Argentina's government show support after losing midterm elections. And internationally, European countries impose restrictions on unvaccinated people. Greetings and welcome to another edition of Channel 2 Headline News Update. I am Bibi Bacchus. Thank you for joining us. Salary increases of 7% will be implemented retroactively to January 1st, 2021 for public employees. Dr. Ashni Singh, the Senior Minister in the Office of the President responsible for Finance, announced during a virtual broadcast on Thursday, November 18th. The government will be paying an across-the-board increase of 7% to public servants, teachers, members of the disciplined services, constitutional office holders, as well as government pensioners. This increase will be granted retroactively to 1st of January 2021, and work will start immediately to ensure that it is processed and paid to eligible employees, together with their December salary and in time for the festive Christmas season. The minister also announced that frontline workers will be receiving a special payout to be made by the end of December. The government has set aside an amount of $400 million for a special 2021 payout to be made to frontline workers in the health sector who have continued to face extenuating circumstances in the daily discharge of their duties as our country and the world continue to battle the ravages of the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, Minister Singh highlighted that the government will be rectifying the irregularities in salary scales across positions in the public sector. Budget 2022 will include provisions for this, according to the minister. For example, a new graduate with a degree in environmental science might be earning $120,000 in one agency, while a new graduate with an identical degree in environmental science might be earning $190,000 in another agency. Your government will be taking steps next year to reduce these inconsistencies by making suitable adjustments to salaries in order to improve the parity and consistency with which persons with comparable qualifications are paid. However, a press release by the Ghana Public Service Union stated that a 7% increase is meager since the workers worked tirelessly throughout 2020 and the most infectious and deadly year in more than a century without any rewards or increases, then work suffering throughout the year 2021 when the cost of living accelerated and skyrocketed. The union alleges that the government frustrated all efforts to sit professionally and decently to deal with increases in wages and salaries, while at the same time attempting to undermine unions and compromise workers' rights. The GPSU is making a final call on the government of Guyana to honor their obligations to the existing legally binding agreement for the accordance and settlement of disputes and to meet urgently to discuss increases for wages, salary and allowances as was formally requested by GPSU in several correspondence that culminated on September 16, 2021. Meanwhile, Minister Singh said instructions were given by President Ali to immediately implement the measures so that payment of increases be made by the end of December 2021. A couple from Linden perished in a tragic accident on Demerara's East Bank. Here is more from Esther Sobers. A tragic accident claimed the life of a Linden couple when a canter truck ran into their car on the Caldonian Public Road East Bank Demerara on Thursday, November 18th. Inquiries disclosed that around 2.45 p.m., motor lorry GWW4922, driven by 50-year-old Carl Craig of Suzdike East Bank Demerara, was proceeding north along the public road. Motor car PXX8815 driven by 42-year-old Lloyd Valsin of Wisrock Linden, was heading south along the said road. Both vehicles were approaching a landfill site situated on the western side of the road. An unknown motor lorry, which was transporting sand, was reversing from east to west on the road into the landfilling site, causing the driver of the motor lorry GWW4922 to pull in the lane of the motor car PXX8815 and collide head-on. As a result of the collision, the driver of the motor car, his wife, 31-year-old Nika Valsin, 
who was on the left front seat, and 20-year-old Shaquille Williams of Blueberry Hill Squatting Area Linden sitting in the rear seat received injuries to their head and about their bodies. On arrival at the Diamond Diagnostic Center, Lloyd Valsin and his wife, Unika Valsin, were examined and pronounced dead. Shaquille Williams was seen and examined by a doctor and transferred to the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, suffering from body trauma. A breathalyzer test was conducted on the driver of the motor lorry, which revealed 0% alcohol. The driver is in custody and further investigations are in progress. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks, Esther. Stick around after the break. GTT is offering $30 million in reasons to celebrate this Christmas, and the Ghana Fire Service is urging citizens to desist from openly burning heaps of garbage or grass. When you need money and you've got to get it fast, Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop is the place for that confidential transaction in a quiet and secure location. You'll get the highest value per penny weight for your gold and also enjoy the lowest interest rates and longest payback period too. Yes, for that instant transaction to solve a pressing financial problem. Let Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, 46 Boyle Place, that's between the Ministry of Housing on Brick Dam and White Castle Fish Shop. Be your first and only choice. Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Safe and sound. Solid and secure. Always there for you. Telephone 231-7878 and 223-8955. For decades, milk has remained the same. Until now. Introducing the Great Dairy Full Cream Milk from Alabama Trading. Enriched with vitamins A to D and calcium to promote healthy teeth, strong bones, and vitality. Great Dairy Milk is delicious and fortified to encourage healthy cell growth within the body. No wonder it's the number one brand of milk produced in Ireland. Now available nationwide in 400 gram packages at leading supermarkets and wholesale vendors. Distributed by Alabama Trading.
Furnishing your home or office has never been easier. Here at Kisum's, our inventory of locally made and imported furniture, offered at amazing prices, will leave you wanting more. From vinyl, floor rugs, and carpets, bedroom, dining, and living room sets, mattresses, pillows, office desks, chairs, and filing cabinets, outdoor benches, and tables, we have a piece of furniture for every room imaginable in your home or office. Check out our flagship store at Industrial Site Rheinfeld or one of our branches in New Amsterdam, Port Morant, Carriverton, and Camp Street. Kisoon's Furniture, furnishing homes for over 50 years. At John Lewis Styles, we carry only first quality men's and women's clothing, footwear, and accessories. As authorized dealers, our items come directly from the manufacturing brands and are available in all sizes and colors. What we sell was never on display in another store. It's time you know the truth about what you buy. Come visit us on Waterloo Street. John Lewis Styles. Simply different. Welcome back. Today, telephone giant GTT launched its special Christmas promotion at the Pegasus Hotel. This season, GTT will be giving away millions of dollars in gifts. GTT Chief Operations Officer Orson Ferguson said, Christmas is a special time of year, and with GTT, this is no exception. Despite 2021 having been one of the most challenging years in recent memory, Christmas gives us a reason for a celebration and a reason to hope for a brighter tomorrow together. This year, GTT will share packages of very tangible gifts of millions of dollars in cash and prizes with our valued customers, current and future, giving us all together the opportunity to celebrate. Ferguson said Christmas with GTT is worth celebrating not because of the gifts and what they symbolize, but because we do it together. Ishwar Takradin, Chief Operations Officer of Home Solutions and Fixed Network Services, said Christmas is exciting and it's reoccurring annually recharges and energizes us for the annual celebration and the new year ahead. This year at GTT, we are excited to give away $30 million in cash and prizes to our customers, our community and our country. That means 30 million reasons to get excited, 30 million reasons for us to celebrate, and 30 million reasons for us to come together. We look forward to putting the smiles on the faces of our valued and deserving customers, and new ones too, through our random daily and weekly draws across all 10 regions in Guyana. New and existing customers can enter in a chance to win more data, more fiber, more credit, more talk, smart TV, shopping vouchers, free MMG credit, free accessories. He said GTT is setting the tone for great celebrations. GTT customers are about to have this Christmas. Beginning November 19, that's today, right through the Christmas season up until January 8th, each week a randomly chosen customer will win between $50,000 to $500,000 in cash and prices. Takridan said anyone can become eligible. One, just pay any of your GTT residential bills on time and full via MMG, MyGTT, or any of our retail stores. You can top up $1,000 or more. You can sign up for GTT Fiber, my favorite. And you can purchase a new mobile phone or SIM from our stores. GTT has mobilized its senior management team to reach out to customers across all regions to hear and address their concerns. Going forward into the new year 2022, customers can certainly look forward to GTT fulfilling more of its promises to reliably connect customers, strengthen their community, and innovate for all of Guyana. The Ghana Fire Service has noted several recent reports of garbage and grass fires at various parts of the country and is urging citizens to desist from openly burning heaps of garbage or grass. If these fires do occur, they should never be left unattended as they possess the potential to spread and become major fire emergencies. Persons desirous of using fire as a method of land clearing or for any other purpose must obtain permission from the Ghana Fire Service before proceeding 
The burning of waste can result in the release of highly toxic pollutants into your home and environment. Citizens should also note that the illegal open burning of garbage attracts a fine of $80,000 to $300,000 and perpetrators can face up to three months imprisonment. Don't go away after the break. Supporters of Argentina's government show support after losing the midterm elections. And Philippines reopen schools after 20 months of closure. But before that, here's the bridge retraction schedule. Smart Minds Educational Institute, offering preschool, nursery, and primary levels. Finally, a school that is every parent's dream. Located at 69 Crow Street, offering academic excellence, trained, qualified teachers, small class sizes, personalized gear, and one-to-one -one attention for your little ones. At Smart Minds, register for full-time or evening classes, daily practice pass exam papers for proficiency at the grade 2, 4, and 6 assessment, and CXE exam preparedness. Or join our Becca Phonics reading and writing program. So if your child is for preschool, nursery, or primary level, come to Smart Mind located at 69 Crow Street or call 231-4885 or 600 9229 to enroll now. and a file and fracture my hip. If you need some quick money, you should check Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop, lot 238 South Road, Border, Georgetown. Get jewelry made to order in just 72 hours. We also accept vehicles. Lenders, best rates, longest payback period. Boys, I get through. Plus, I could dance again. <laughs> Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Survival Shopping Complex brings to you its delivery service, Shop Through WhatsApp. This process is simple. All you need to do is call or message your grocery list to 613-9683 and we will select your items for you and have them delivered directly to you, even out of town. This is convenient because we can stay on the phone with you as we select your favorite brands. We're happy to do your shopping for you. Contact us on WhatsApp today and shop price smart at Survival Shopping Complex. Based taxi service, transportation for every occasion. Short drop, airport, weddings, funerals, and much more. We're located at Law H. Durban and Vicingen Road, next to Green City Bar. For honest, efficient, and reliable service, call Kingdom Based Taxi Service at 648 5959 or 227 7937. You can count on us. Welcome back. Now we take a look at news in the region and around the world. Supporters of Argentina's government have rallied in the capital just days after midterm parliamentary elections. It was a show of strength after the government suffered heavy losses. Al Jazeera's Daniel Schrimmler reports. Three days after midterm elections, people from all over Argentina fill the streets around the government palace in Buenos Aires. Most are members of the main trade union groups, as well as social and neighborhood organizations and various strands of the Peronist movement, which backs the government. 
It's the anniversary of the day their founder, former President Juan Perón, returned to Argentina from exile in 1972. <inaudible> As activists, we need to return to the streets because we couldn't during the two years of the pandemic. So this is our day to reflect and remember our joy at being together on the streets. We're putting everything into our activism because we want a national popular government that represents us all. We are marching together and we are marching forwards. In Sunday's midterm elections, the government lost control of the Senate was weakened in the lower house and fared poorly in several provinces where previously it dominated. But few here were talking about the electoral damage. This doesn't look much like a defeat, but then it's not supposed to. With two years until the next elections, a show of strength on the streets is just the boost the struggling government needs. More than 40% of Argentines live in poverty. Inflation is rampant and unemployment is rising. The country is also burdened with a huge debt to the International Monetary Fund. So we, we have these two processes going on at the same time, one very public, this false celebration of victory, which is really buying time to process defeat. Meanwhile, the right-wing opposition, voted out of power in 2019, now feels emboldened to make their comeback in two years' time. And we have this pending processing of victory, which is, you know, how do we do things better next time? President Alberto Fernandez remains confident, urging the crowds to support his plans for the rest of his term. A better future is coming. We're seeing on the horizon what we want to see, an economy growing by 9%, one of the fastest growing in the world. And this year will surely recover what it lost in the pandemic. Argentina is emerging from the pandemic with its economy weaker, under growing pressure to find solutions, both in the corridors of power and on the streets. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires. Internationally, the Philippines is among the last country to reopen its schools after nearly 20 months closure due to the coronavirus restrictions. The United Nations Children's Fund says many Filipino students are suffering from reduced learning and development. Al Jazeera's Jamelia Armadugan reports. After 19 months, Mark G. and Mendoza and his classmates are finally back in school. They say it's a much-needed reunion, even if it doesn't seem like the way it once was. I am happy to see my classmates again and to be able to get the help that I need from teachers and to have a full learning experience. The Philippines is the last country in the world to reopen its schools after the pandemic forced months-long lockdowns. But out of the thousands of schools across the country, only a hundred were chosen by the Department of Education for the two-month pilot reopening. This is just one of the very few schools that are allowed to reopen here in Alabat Island. Teachers here tell us they remain hopeful that this week's reopening could also pave the way for schools to be back to normal again across the country. Normal temperature. Meron ubot sipon? From sanitary stations to disinfection supplies, teachers made sure no details were left out. So far, so good, according to officials. It's very critical, not only in this province, in this country, but in the entire world. If the place is low risk, we need to start. When will we start? We need to start now. 100% of parents wants them to experience face-to-face -face again. Marites Arida says parents like her have seen the cost of distance learning. While his nine-year-old son MJ says, although he likes being at home with his mother, just like millions of Filipino children, he too misses school very much. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Alabat Island in Quezon Province, Central Philippines. 
And finally, European governments are increasingly restricting the lives of unvaccinated people as COVID-19 infections surge once again. But doctors are questioning if countries have relied too heavily on jabs, neglecting other containment measures like masks and social distancing. Al Jazeera's Rory Challenge reports. Bars are full along the seafront at Benidorm. This resort town on Spain's east coast is popular with UK packaged tourists seeking an escape from the autumn weather back home. But a spike in local Covid cases recently suggests they may have been bringing something with them. We don't have proper data on the rise of the infections, but we did notice as soon as tourism came back to this area, the rise of infections came too. This is unquestionable. So visitors are being offered vaccinations. Some haven't had one at home and most have arrived on crowded planes. When we arrived at the airport yesterday, five flights all came in at the same time and there was thousands of people from Manchester, Cardiff, Bristol, all queuing up together. So that's not, a, that's not good if you're trying to keep Covid down to a minimum. Spain's infection rate is rising, but it's worse elsewhere in Europe. German Chancellor Angela Merkel says a fourth wave has hit her country with full force. Where infections are worse, access to events and restaurants will only be for those who've been vaccinated or who've recovered. Munich has cancelled its Christmas market. Infections in Bavaria are double the national rate of 300 or so per 100,000. Anfangen. On Monday, it was said that you were allowed to set up. And in the end, the result is that we have to dismantle now and we have to bear all the costs. Nobody pays us the costs. In Greece, private doctors are being drafted into the public health care system for a month. Hospitals and intensive care wards have been overwhelmed by rising infections recently. Medics are protesting, saying they're overworked and underpaid. Many European countries are caught on the horns of a dilemma. Significant parts of the population don't want to get vaccinated, but nor do people want more restrictions on their day-to-day -day lives. Well, those who are unvaccinated obviously are more susceptible to getting infected and, and, and having severe symptoms. So they're, they're driving the pandemic. The other issue is that European countries are being very reactive rather than proactive. There's been largely a focus now on vaccination and less of a focus on other control measures like face masks in interiors and the COVID certificate, which I think is incredibly important. The death tolls aren't what they were earlier in the outbreak, but people are still dying. And once again, Europe is the centre of the world's COVID-19 pandemic. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera. And that is it for today's regional and international news. Here now is your three-day weather forecast. And that is all for this edition of Channel 2 Headline News Update. Tune in on Monday at 7pm for another episode. Be sure to subscribe, like and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Until then, please, take care of yourself and each other.